So I want to welcome you all to our May meeting for our Curtsy Forum Membership Informational. Uh, we conduct these meetings once a month, typically after our forums, uh, to get to know other individuals and, and really see if membership is something that is a good fit uh, for them or not. So Currency Forum is uh, an investment group that is looking at serious opportunities. And we're serious investors putting our cash and our time and our effort into really helping the future of technology grow uh, and being able to get to that next stage and ultimately being able to deliver an ROI. We have been doing this for uh, quite some time and we are now uh, and have been the world's leading investment uh, network that really enables our members to make diverse uh, investments across the board, whether it's sector or if it's stage, uh, really looking at how to support the overall portfolio uh, of our members and providing them with different opportunities and, and collaborating together as we do that. Uh, the one benefit is when you join in the Pacific Northwest and Rockies region, you actually join the entire global community and we have different technology platforms that help bring all of that together. So you're actually able to see the deal flow that they're looking at in Barcelona or in the Nordics region or in Australia or in the Northeast, uh, wherever it may be, uh, you do have access to that as a Kuretsu Forum member. We were founded in the year 2000 in the Bay Area. We launched here in the Pacific Northwest in 2005 in Seattle. So we've been here over 15 years and have expanded to six chapters across both the Pacific Northwest and Rockies region. We have more than 60 chapters globally on four continents, more than 3000 members, and we've helped support and fund more than 2,400 companies to date. Uh, really, you know, being able to leverage each other's backgrounds and experiences and working together to, to diligence and, and make those investment choices as we look at those. It's not just me saying that we're the best in the world. Uh, PitchBook has actually said it uh, multiple years running. I think the first league table I saw was like in 2014 or 2015. Uh, we've been at the top. And if you look at the different groups here that are at the top, they're all funds. They're all funds and syndicates. We are the actual only network of people uh, that competes on this type of level with the, the funding of different opportunities. And last year was a very robust funding year. Um, we are still the most active investment group in the world, uh, you know, sitting on top here. I mean, Gangels did almost a deal a day globally, which is bananas, like thinking about how many deals were done. Um, and we, we really were active here in the Pacific Northwest and Rockies region, helping to fund almost $63 million into 93 companies. And it's very impressive uh, to see our members still working together. Uh, the virtual format has been really beneficial as we have been able to bring together more minds, more people um, on these calls and support these companies in the early stages. So, a little bit more about the Northwest and Rockies region. Uh, we have, this is 375. I think we're up over 400 investor members now. Uh, so we're pretty active in terms of the amount of members we have in our chapters. We have six regional chapters. Uh, you're put into your chapter based on the location of where you live. Uh, that said, everything's on Zoom for the most part. We do have uh, some things that happen in person, which you're able to come out to, and that's still one of our core values, but really being able to, to bring to button together, you can really do what works best for your schedule to be able to participate in this ecosystem. Uh, we focus a lot on education and mentorship, and, um, and that's just one of our core values as well as we continue to go forward, and I already mentioned our funding. We have a robust team. This is another thing that really sets us apart. Our team is fantastic. Uh, it takes every single one of us working diligently to make sure the companies are supported and our investor members are supported, everything that takes place. Um, my team is fantastic and I can't stress that enough. And so if you join as a member, this team is there to help and support you every step of the way, whether you're looking at deals or want certain types of deal flow or need more benefits out of your mindshare forums or, you know, just anything that you need to make sure that you get the most out of your membership. They're here to make sure that you're supported in that effort. So the funding marketplace is 
quite robust and uh, it continues uh, to be going in all sorts of different directions. And it's been a little bit more volatile recently, especially as you head up more towards, you know, public stocks or maybe if you've invested in some cryptocurrency, but you know, the things that are, things go up and down and that is just the cycle of markets as we've seen, you know, over the years. Uh, that said, we play in a very specific spot uh, where it's it's not necessarily pre-seed and seed funding, maybe a little bit of seed funding, but really looking at that series A, B, and C rounds. And what's helped us to be able to expand into these later stage rounds where you've really seen the corporates and private equity and others be able to participate is our family office network and being able to leverage those family offices for some of those larger checks across the board. Additionally, it's also just been our syndication effort. And once we're able to get those deals diligenced and funded, we then syndicate them out to all of our partners and they help too. And it's been interesting to watch over the last five years. A lot of companies, it used to be very traditional. They would raise a, they'd raise a seed round, pre-seed round, seed round, maybe an A round, and then they'd go institutional. That doesn't happen so much anymore. We have these companies going institutional for some of their funding, but a lot of them don't want to work with the VCs. They want to work with private investors. They want to work with family offices. And those are really a lot of the, the companies that we help to cater to and support. So it takes a whole ecosystem to make everything work. And we have individuals over here, those super angels, they usually remain pretty hyper-local, uh, not a lot of network uh, available with that. We have the accelerators, which are also there to support, help those companies grow. They take a big chunk of equity. Um, the funds, which are more passive, and Kretsu Capital uh, does have funds that do invest in Kretsu form deals. So we do have some of that passive investment available to our members. Uh, but what we really focus on is our great association with quality deal flow, just as our tagline states it. And so we have access to deals from everywhere. And with that, we have members on the ground in those places. So even though you might not be able to walk to their office, you can know someone who can. And that's been really um, wonderful being able for our investors to invest in these deals that are in Boston, that are in Texas, that are up in Canada, because there are there are people, there are members there who are also investing in those deals and we help support each other in that way. But it takes this whole ecosystem to actually make it work. I need those local angel groups to fund those earlier rounds because they're just not going to be a fit for what we're looking at within our own forum. So the reality is, is for those super angels and for those individuals that really want to go at this and, and they want to go at it alone, it's, it's not easy. Uh, I've talked to plenty of people who are like, yeah, my friend like told me about this deal and I wrote a check and I lost all my money. And that was, that sucked. And so I'm not going to do that again. And, um, and as a result, because of all the hard work that actually goes into investing in this area, most potential angels become inactive because it just, it doesn't work out for them. They lack the consistency of looking at quality deal flow. Uh, I get, cold reach outs at least 10 to 15 times a day from people who do not know who I am, do not know what I do. They're just sending blanket emails, raising capital. And I have to tell a lot of companies that, you know, they're just not fit to do it. And it's it's a hard place to be. 98% of these businesses in America are small businesses. Only a couple percent really fit that venture. So how do you go through and actually vet what's real and what's not? Uh, there's the lack of due diligence expertise. We can be experts at certain things, but you know, it's hard to be experts at everything. And then being able to come in and really make sure that those deal terms are fair and balanced. But the one thing that these three things take the most of is the most valuable asset that we all have, which is our time and our resources. And, and so we really look to provide a solution to that. And our solution is really to support our investors, to enable self-development, to bring in thought leadership, to be able to have that peer-to-peer -peer learning uh, environment because we learn from people's experiences. I can tell you how to do something all day long, but that's not going to work. I would much rather be able to give you four different experiences. You can learn from our members themselves on what they've done, how they look at things. And then you can take what you like and build what's best for you and really be able to build your own investment thesis. We put our dollars to work to really be able to have an impact. And when we're when things are uncertain and when things are cloudy as we are investing in these early stage technologies, that is where the most amount of wealth generation is able to be made. And we can be a part of that story 
and impact the future and be able to have an ROI. And so we really pride ourselves in our deal flow and being able to look at quality deals, work through that vetting process, support our members every step of the way and make sure that they have the resources that they need to make solid decisions. We've also brought on Dealum this year. Uh, Dealum is a fantastic platform. I'm super excited about it. We're able to actually show our members complete transparency into our entire deal flow process. You can see what companies are being screened. If you're in a committee at the pre-screening part, you can look at those companies, the screening companies where you vote on the companies that go forward to forums, the forum companies, the companies going through due diligence, and the companies that are syndicating out. You could check their rounds, you can see how they're going, you can keep track of pretty much everything that's going on within the organization in this platform. And it provides a lot of access and a lot of transparency where we've not been able to have that before. And the members are loving it because even when they can't attend a meeting or be there, they can always go to deal them, they can always see everything that's happening. And because we record everything, they're able to then watch that presentation and they never miss a moment and be able to actually capture that with that company and see if uh, that conversation they have is something that they want to dig into further uh, with a potential investment. We also, we also focus a lot on the personal growth and development, as I measure, mentioned. Uh, I talk a lot about core values. This is one of my most challenging goals I've set for myself this year. We used to be an in-person membership organization. It's a lot easier to determine culture when you're in an in-person environment. Being in the virtual environment is uh, not necessarily easy, uh, but it's something that is really important and I'm not going to let go of. So the engagement, the communication, the education, and really the perseverance are the four pillars that make up our core values of being a Koretsu Forum member and really embodying these. If you don't engage, you're not gonna get anything out of it. You can have a gym membership and be able to sign up for that, but if you don't go, you're not gonna get physically fed. Communication is one of our strongest skills and assets that we have, yet I just find that our communication breakdown is greater than it's been before. And so really focusing on that and how we can be better communicators with ourselves, with our people in our in our community, with the people that we work with, uh, to really help solve problems and do big things. Uh, communication is essential. The education, which I'll get into here in a second, and then the perseverance, because these things are hard. And if it wasn't meaningful, it wouldn't be hard. And so uh, being able to persevere through those challenges are extremely important. And so we focus on a monthly theme each month, and then we also have an educational theme that we focus on each month. So you were able to hear about go-to-market strategies in May. Prior to that, we had also covered uh, best practices in angel investing, term sheets and cap tables, due diligence to writing a check and like getting to that point. Uh, we're going to be looking at blockchain and cryptocurrency in June. Clean tech investing in July. We'll have our investor capital expo here at the Redmond campus uh, in August, on August 10th and 11th which is included in your membership uh, to be able to attend that. Uh, our September will be beyond the hype with AR, VR, and AI. We hear all these buzzwords in uh, company presentations, but where's the there there with it? And where does actually the rubber meet the road? We'll be discussing life science investing in October, technology investing in November, and then what is your moat exploring IP, all types of IP, hard IP, soft IP, whatever it might be in December. But really that continuing education and me not just prescribing one way to think about these things, but bringing in different experts who are members of our organization and are a part of it to be able to help teach us what they do uh, so we can be better learning from them. We also have our Mindshare forums. Uh, this was a new program that we started uh, when we went virtual in 2020. And this provides, it's a private confidential group that meets on a monthly basis to talk about their investments, to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and to share their experiences in a safe spot. Because the reality is, is when things aren't going right, it's hard to talk about them with people. And when things are going really well, it's also, you're just not going to go tell your neighbor, like, I just got a 10X. Like, you know, people don't talk about those things. So this is a place where people who are like you can meet together once a month and be able to support one another. If you're looking at companies it also helps you to keep track of the companies you've invested in so you don't lose any along the way uh, because that's one of the key successes in being a private investor is really being able to keep track and stay in communication with them. So uh, happy to talk a little bit more about that in Q&A. 
So uh, in terms of becoming a Kretsu Forum member, uh, one thing that we just need to make sure of is that core values alignment. And I, you know, I talked about it in terms of the education and the engagement and the communication and being able to persevere. In addition, you know, being a trusted, honest, and respected member of the business community and really being able to contribute time, wisdom, and expertise. These are important items to take into consideration. Also, you must be accredited investor. Uh, and that is not, that is defined by the SEC that you basically reach, uh, that you make enough money or you have enough assets to be able to lose that money because these investments are risky. We have our online application. Uh, we do ask that you provide some thoughtfulness around those ex, uh, those answers. Uh, it does help us to understand a little bit more about your background, your expertise, and then also what your investment goals are. In terms of your membership onboarding, we have a team to help you do that. And every new member will meet with me. Uh, we discuss uh, the values uh, that they have and what you're looking for in your membership. And we make sure that you achieve those goals. You have goals you want to reach. We're here to help you do that, uh, especially as you, as you learn and build out your portfolio. And then we welcome you to the most active investment group in the world. So just a quick recap here before I open it up to questions. Uh, just we are a global organization, so you do get global access, uh, very much focused on peer to peer learning. We have a Koretsu Connect app, which is our uh, global technology solution for you to be able to access that. We also have uh, discounted uh, memberships to PitchBook available. Uh, and if that is of interest to you, please do let us know. Uh, and we're happy to uh, get you over that information. We typically renew our PitchBook uh, memberships in November of each year, uh, but it's significantly discounted. Now, if you are interested in that, do not go to PitchBook and, and, select, um, and select that. Because uh, if you do sign up for them, you will disqualify yourself with us. And uh, due diligence, facilitation, education, and support, my full-time staff is here and ready to do that for you. We also have our proprietary deal flow access. Uh, we A lot of our deals come from internally sourced from our members and really working to help support companies they're already working with. We have a term sheet committee to work with our members on deal terms and our corporate counsel to make sure the deals are fair and balanced. And then once you write that check, just know we're syndicating these deals out. We're making sure they get those rounds in the bank so they can get back to doing what they do best while looking at a diverse array of deals. Mm -hmm.